I'm starting this week with the book review because I had mentioned a book in my last video and I finished that book. So I wanted to give my book review first, but if you want to move ahead, it's book, bag, tech, um, feel free. I've now learned how to put timestamps on my videos. So this is all about spending your money, where to spend your money, what to invest in. And I have a book of the week, a bag of the week, and a tech app or some kind of some kind of tech something a camera an app um, a case just something technology related so for my book of the week i'm going back to the house guest by hank philippi ryan i just finished it last night and i was so sad i wasn't sad because of the ending of the book i was sad because i'd been so invested in these characters lives i felt like i was losing a friend i was saying goodbye to a friend like our lives were moving in different directions so i think there are two basic types of books that i am attracted to and those are the ones that are very plot driven the plot moves very quickly a lot is going on it happens fast and i'm constantly guessing and there are twists and there are turns and and then there are ones that are more character driven. And this book, The House Guest, is much more character driven. If you're looking for something that's gonna keep you on the edge of your seat, I don't know that this is the book for you exactly, because it still is a psychological thriller. And so when I hear the word psychological thriller, I do tend to think, you know, twists, turns, murders, mayhem, all this kind of stuff. And this one was more, it's psychological, more, I think, more than thriller in the sense that you really get into these characters' heads, especially the protagonist, Alyssa, and you begin to question the own, your own choices in life and what you're going through and who you are. I, I just, I felt like I really knew Alyssa. I think... As if I were a writer, if I were a better writer, um, I would, this is the kind of character every writer aspires to write. The ones that make connections with your reader and really have you feeling like you're losing a friend at the end of that book. It's one that I would put on my list and say, I would like to go back and reread only if to maybe, sometimes I'll do a reader's diary where I'll read a book and then I'll write my reactions to things that are going on within that text. Just my own reflections based on my own life. And I did that with Tana French's Into the Woods. I think that was another very character driven book. This is one that I would like to go back and reread. Of course, I know how it ends. I know what happened, but even knowing that information, I would like to go back into the text and examine the character interactions and the choices that they've made and their motivators. I just thought it was absolutely phenomenal. It might not be a book that I would recommend to all of my 10th grade students because they have problems getting into books and the life situation of a woman who's going through a divorce, probably it doesn't apply to them. It's not something that they're familiar with. As a middle-aged woman, definitely could understand or feel the heartache that Alyssa is feeling and understand her loneliness, her desperation, the fact that she feels too old to change the, the course of her life, the fact that she feels that she's been pigeonholed into this one role and she's really uncertain how to kind of redefine herself without that other half of her. I feel like if you're someone my age or, you know, adult, if you're an adult, I think that this is much easier to identify with and my heart broke for Alyssa because she is a wonderful character and I I felt so much sympathy and empathy for her throughout her journey. At the same time, I was constantly questioning things, things that she did. Um, it, was just, it was so interesting to read. It was just such an interesting read. So knowing that I have limited funds now or that I'm trying to limit my funds and I'm trying to save money, knowing what a book costs, yes two thumbs up, five stars, I would 100% recommend that you go out, that you buy Hank Philippi Ryan's The House Guest. This is a worthy investment. Keep a little journal beside it. I, I still think that that's something that is fun 
Uh, it gives longevity to the book. I would, I would pay whatever it costs. Like this is worth way more than like a month of Netflix for sure in my opinion. And I think like a book and a month of Netflix is roughly the same price. I read it a little bit slower than I would normally have read a book uh, just because so much is going on in my life right now. And so I did read it a little bit slower and then halfway, um, was it halfway? No, it was more than half. Like, I was like 60 some percent into the book is when I made that decision of like, no alcohol. We're going completely alcohol free. And so then I was triggered, like not triggered, but you know what I mean? Like I noticed every single time alcohol was brought up within the text. I'm like, wow, as adults, I think we really do. It is a crutch to get through emotional things. And that's certainly how I was using it. And don't plan on doing that anymore because it's very, very unhealthy for me. So uh, that was something else. And another aspect of the text that was very interesting to me. So highly recommend this book. This is my week's book recommendation for you. You can get it on Amazon. I will link all the places that I found it online. I'm sure the author has her own website. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, what author does it? So I will link all the places that you can find this book online. Two thumbs up. Highly recommend. You should read this book. <laughs> week is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. So last week I had a bag that if I had to do it all over again, I would have saved my money and I would not have purchased the Alma Bibi, but the Pochette Matisse is definitely worth the money. I don't care if this is like not Instagram savvy or worthy or, you know, it's not a hot new it bag. I don't care. I don't, I'm too, I'm too old to worry about that. I like this bag. So here I am, I'm getting ready to go to a conference and this is the bag, one of the bags, cause you can't use the same bag twice, like no. Um, <laughs> this is one of the bags that I am taking with me. And the reason I love this bag so much is it is a crossbody, so it's completely hands-free. It has this adjustable strap and you can see it's gonna sit right in front of me. It holds a ton. Check it out. I even have my iPad mini in there and it fits perfectly. Uh, it's awesome. I've got my cords, makeup, my mini pochette. Gotta have the mini pochette, especially if you're traveling. And another thing that I really like about this is it has this pocket on the back, which is easy access for my phone. I know a lot of people say that they keep their phones in their hand and it, I just feel like if you've got a small child, that's not exactly realistic. Uh, here comes the cat. <laughs> and uh, You need a place to put your phone fairly quickly. And I love the fact that it has that back pocket. Uh, it has a lot of organization in here. You have three, I think everyone's really familiar with this three separate compartments. In this back compartment, I habitually will hold my card holder. Then in the center, I wouldn't normally carry, hi cat, I would not normally carry uh, any kind of uh, iPad, but for today, I need an iPad and my Apple Pencil. I've got some wet wipes, just the normal stuff that you would find in a bag, but I think this is well worth the investment. Mine happens to be an emprunt leather, which the only con I would say about that is it does make it a much heavier bag than canvas. This thing weighs quite a bit, and yes, it will become painful, even with my fluffy jacket on, as the day wears on. So I'm aware of that, I know that, that it's going to cause some pain, but part of that can just be my build. Cause if you look, like, like I said, I have this <laughs> protruding bone over here. So potentially if you didn't, if you, you know, if, if you had, it might not hurt everyone. Okay. 
it might not hurt everyone. But for me, I do find that it gets a little painful after a while. I love to take this bag shopping because of the ease, because of the convenience. I know exactly where my card holder is. I know exactly where my phone is. It's so easy to find stuff in this bag. I had no idea that it would hold the iPad mini, but I'm so happy because <laughs> I'm not taking a computer. I'm going to a tech conference, which you'll see in next week's vlog. But I highly, highly recommend this bag.